We have some huge news regarding the upcoming VR headset, the Valve Deckard. And this news is coming directly from the chief of Valve, Gabe Newell. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get started. Deckard is rumored to be the codename for the standalone VR headset, produced by none other than Valve. So if you've been following virtual reality news, you've probably heard about it before. Finally, we obtained the translation of an interview that provided important information about their upcoming VR headset. As you may be aware, Valve doesn't publicly discuss its ongoing projects, but in the interview, the chief made the following claims. I can definitely say that we're continuing to develop the VR headset recently. Valve has a lot of expertise in VR devices and has faith in a medium and VR games. Now, you must keep in mind that Valve last released VR hardware in 2019 with the release of their PC-based Index headset, and a year later, the studios released Half-Life Alyx, which is currently regarded as the best VR game ever. However, it has been almost four years since we've learned anything significant about the studios' upcoming products. One significant change, however, occurred when they released their own Steam Deck platform, and their head of development, Gabe Newell, said that eventually it would be possible to use it for VR applications as well. In the interim, however, we also now know a lot more about what the hardware will entail. So, here it is. The Deckard or the Index 2 will undergo the biggest change when it becomes a hybrid VR headset. This means that it will be able to play games that require more power, both in standalone mode and when connected to a PC VR. And we can observe essentially the same thing in Quest 2 as well. Compared to the prior Index, which was PC VR only, this suggests that in order to be able to use the headset, you would always need a powerful computer and external trackers. Therefore, turning it into a standalone experience while maintaining the ability to play these fantastic PC VR games will be a significant improvement. The insane new controllers will come in second because the Index is known for their bend designs, which means that the strap will wrap around your hand and keep your controller in your hand even when you're throwing objects in virtual reality. Additionally, it has the ability to support finger and hand tracking. Even though many users have broken many of their Index controllers compared to everything else on the market, this technology is still an advanced stage. However, its higher resolution display, which according to leaks will feature dual 4K micro OLEDs, a rapid refresh rate, and a field of view of about 130 degrees, will likely be the most important upgrade. And of course, as with all new VR headsets, it will probably feature pancake lenses like those on the Pico 4 and the Quest Pro. This will help the headset's size slim and make it significantly less front-heavy. However, the high cost of all these upgrades suggests that the starting price will be the range of $1,000. And that still may be the low-end variant of it. Given that the Index 4 years ago with the cutting-edge technology is priced essentially the same as it was when it was first released. But taking into consideration other prominent brands like Meta, which will release their Quest 3 later this year as well as the newest PlayStation VR 2, it does seem that Valve needs to step up their game if they don't want to fall behind. After all these years, the majority of VR shelves are beginning to accumulate significant dust. And even though I love their hardware, I do believe they need to develop a grand strategy if they want to outperform the competition. However, it's also crucial to remember that the Deckard shouldn't be confused with their Project Gallia, which was among the most progressive things ever created, since this would incorporate a module created by OpenBCI that could read the signals coming from your brain and then translate them into your virtual game, it would be the first step towards a headset similar to the full-life Nerve Gear. However, we haven't heard very much about this project and instead know that they have teamed up with Varjo to bring it to life. And with a $35,000 asking price, which is absolutely insane. And this absolutely absurd price point is of the clear reasons why Valve is likely abandoning this project and focusing solely on their Deckard VR headset. That's all for the Valve Decker today, and I'll see you in the next one.